Cave Echo represents the future, a representation of what we hope a mine can be technically, operationally, and in its connection with the local community. The journey to Cave Echo, I think, is actually pretty interesting. It's a large open pit cup mine in southern Peru that spans a couple hundred kilometers from a high mountain area all the way down to sea level. Copper, we believe, is going to be a huge future enabling product. One of the standout metals for the future of the world. It's going to be one of the leading value drivers of green energy. And the resource is such that I can still see them producing copper in 50 to 100 years, and the resource can be expanded. And so that'll be one of the long-term mainstays of Anglo-Americans mining businesses across the globe. I think Quejabeco is a world-class project but also means a lot for us and for the country because we want to show a new way of how we can do mining. Probably the main challenge that we have in Cayabeco was to face a significant part of the project under a pandemic. Trying to get things done in the middle of COVID was, was no small challenge. In the case of Peru, the pandemic was very tough. So we had to shut the project down for six months at peak it's really difficult to start up a project again at peak. They have been able to develop the whole project in a very complicated period of time in Peru, on time, on budget. If I look at one thing that the team did, that would probably be the biggest thing we should be proud of. Kiveco, it's the model for what a future mine should look like. We're trying to use everything that Future Smart Mining has uh, to offer today. It'll be 100% automated trucks, automated drills, we also have the digital mine, which is Anglo's new technology, as well as coarse particle flotation. The digital application, the new technologies in crushing, grinding, and all the processes, for us, it's the starting point for a much deeper and broader technology-driven future for the mining industry, which is where we need to go. Kia Veco really does set the benchmark for how we think we should be developing and building sustainable mines for the future and we can celebrate the opportunity to have a new way of working and a new sustainable development. Community is extremely important to Anglo-American and Cay of Echo. It really is our foundation of what we do. They're in it for the long haul with us, and they see that we're in it with the long haul for them. And a lot of the things that we did were around infrastructure and water to make sure that the community felt the impact of Cay of Echo. We're looking at ways to improve the education, the health systems, but we buy ambulances, basic sanitary needs, support them with uh, regional development, uh, making sure that we don't use uh, clean water, but we provide them clean water. And so for us, that partnership defines a new relationship for us going forward in those local communities. And that's why I think what we've done and what we've got is something special. I personally feel very good about the long-term future of Cay of Echo. I think it's a great example for future smart mining and it's a launching pad for what we do in the future. And when you look at Kiveco, Woodsmith to come, Sakati and the other options we have, we really do have a pipeline of opportunities that are second to none in the industry.